Okay, today we are going to, I'm going to introduce a, a concept which is very famous in Vedanta in our meditation session. Now, this is a very famous concept and it needs some explanation because the moment you understand this, you will realize the self very easily. What is this concept? Now, this concept is explained in Brahadhanya Gopanishad, Swayam Jyoti Brahmana. And I will take this uh, Swayam Jyoti Brahmana in the next week as the meditation session. As a prelude to that, I'm going to have a session today which will explain the theory, theory behind that verse, which I will do next week. Now, in Bharatana Upanishad, Swayam Jyoti is a technical term which is used. I'm going to explain today, and I'm going to conduct a minute session to reveal this Swayam Jyoti. Atma Jnanam, this is a very important concept. Please understand carefully because very, very important in Vedanta. Atma Jnanam is a Swayam Jyoti. It is self-evident knowledge. This is what all the Upanishads, they tell us. Keno Upanishad, Brardhanika Upanishad, Chandogya Upanishad, Mandukya Upanishad, Mundaka Upanishad, all of them they say, I don't need anything to know myself. How do I understand this? There are three terms used in Vedanta. One is called as Pratyaksham. Second is Paroksham. And the third one is Aparoksham. So, Atma is said to be not a Pratyaksha Vishaya. It is not an object of the sense organs or the mind. Atma. The world is an object for the sense organs and the mind. Not Atma. So, Atma is not Pratyaksham. Pratyaksham also means Pratyaksha means it is before the eyes. It is not, Atma is not in front of the eyes, Atma is not in front of the ears, Atma is not in front of the taste, it is not in front of the uh, nose, it is not in front of the skin. It is not Pratyaksha. Whatever is in front of the eyes is Pratyaksha. Pratyaksha is just a representation of all the five sense organs. So whenever I say in meditation, I am not an object of the sense organs. Big step in meditation. Or the mind. I am not an object. Then, what is paroksham? Paroksham means it is not remotely known through others. Suppose I am not seeing it. But suppose somebody says, yes, there is an Atma. It is not like that. There is an Atma is a Parokshanyana. There is America. How I don't see America right now sitting in Singapore or in India. There is London. There is America. There is, uh, you know, so many countries. So whatever is remote, Compared to what is in front of me, that is called as Paroksham. Paroksham also is used whenever I know objects through inference. That means through Anumana, through Upamana, through Anupalabdi, Arthapati, and Laukika Shabda. There are six Pramanams. I'm not going to the details of that. For those who know, what these six pramanams are, for those of you, you just note that whatever I know through the other pramanams, through logic or through, uh, through, through examples or through absence of something, 
or through some words of belonging to the world uttered by others these are all other sources of knowledge atma is not that atma is not pratyaksham atma is not paroksha what is atma atma is aparoksham aparoksha jnanam what is the meaning of aparoksham it means it is not pratyaksham or it is not paroksham atma is not known through the sense organs or the mind or through others telling me about it atma is indirectly what it uh, what uh, what we are trying to say is atma is self luminous self evident swayam jyoti only atma comes under this category of aparoksha jnana i am is effortlessly known without any medium not an as an object but as a subject very important in vedanta many times we say that atma is not cannot be known there you should say atma is not known as an object but it is known as a subject swayam jyoti subject now this is called as pure awareness the presence or consciousness if you understand this chart clearly at any time remember this chart you will be with atma there is nothing else in your own mind you get rid of pratyaksha vishayas paroksha vishayas remain in your own self as the aparoksha atma directly known by myself in myself as myself please close your eyes sit straight keep your legs firmly on the ground this is the right posture for meditation i am aware of the breath in this body the one who is aware is the atma breathing is an object of awareness in order to watch the breath i don't use any of my sense organs when i use my sense organs of knowledge i sense shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha from the world the five sense objects together is called as jagat there is no other jagat beyond this five sense organs in the external world i 
I no longer am aware of the external world. I am the Sakshi, aware of the internal world. I, with the mind, I, the Sakshi, I get reflected in my own mind and I become the ego I, Pramata I. This Pramata I gets the knowledge of the world through the sense organs. It is called as Pratyaksha Jnanam, direct knowledge of the sense organs. through the mind. When I don't use the sense organs and I use my mind, then it is called as Parokshanam, not through the sense organs. I infer and get the knowledge. I compare with an example, get the knowledge, Anumana. I use logic, arthapati, I get the knowledge. I use the absence of objects, abhavanyanam, that is called as anupalabdhi. So the knowledge I have is either direct pratyaksha or paroksha, remote. I am aware of the breath one more time. My mind becomes steady. When the mind is steady, the intellect shines. A steady mind is called as the intellect. When the buddhi is firm and stable, atma shines in the intellect.
there is an experience of serenity, peace, shanti, which is called as Anandamaya Kosha. It is also a vritti, a thought in the mind. And the Sakshi. Sakshi is not a thought. It is pure awareness. I am conscious, alert, aware, I don't need a thought to know myself. I don't need the sense organs to know myself. Self-evident, self-luminous. I am. Swayam Jyoti. Swarupam is my nature. Absolute peace. is my real nature. I will chant home. Listen to the sound of Om. I am aware of myself before the next OM. OM.
Gently rub your palms, place them on your eyes, and open your eyes. 